Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to more video games. We are back with more inscription, and we just beat two of the the the, the masters, the the scribes of elements that uh, we are destined to beat here. Uh, it's actually awesomely enough the two on the middle, so it looks like this whole island is giving you the horns. It's like, yeah, beat those two more masters. So. Um, I think we shall. The good news is we've already beaten everybody here in the crypt, so we're ready to face, oh uh, god, what was her name? Gruntilda? I don't fucking know. The stink bug lady. You know who I'm talking about. Griselda. Grizunda. Grizundite. And then we'll go and take on the wizard Magni Magnificus here inside his, his tall and very not Jeff Bezos-y like tower. I think that'll be the plan. Yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> I was looking to see, for a split second, I was looking at the light on my microphone through um, my dust filter here, my pop filter, and it looked amber, which would have meant my mic was muted because I have a physical mute button here on this very fancy Samson mic. By the way, go to samson.com to get yours right now. And um, thankfully that was not the case. I, I, I did that horror movie check where I was like, very slowly, da, 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 da. Okay, we're safe. And normally that would be followed by amber light right here over my shoulder. Anyway, wait. Music is a bit loud. Okay, I can fix that. How about now? I think I uh, also noticed that the background noise is a little... Oh, you know what I did? Okay, there. That should be better. I forgot that I raised the volume inside of the mixer and then also raised the volume in the volume mixer on my desktop. So that should be better. <laughs> You know what this reminds me of? It reminds me of the very lamentatious tune inside of Lavender Town's Tower. Which it very well should, but, uh, you know. Okay, that that's better? Cool. If Harwood's the one saying that you can hear everything fine, we're good. Another attempt eerie, very well. I'm still buzzing from the last one. On God, eh? Oh, yeah, I forgot about the bone jam. And how? remember how the bones dance for us? Oh, this is going to be great. Okay, so our deck is much more powerful than the last time we faced off against this bitch. So the good news is this mantis god will be able to kill the bone hound immediately because of its wonderful triple attack. And the bone hound, it, wait, oh. Wow, wait. Whatever is placed, oh! You know what? I confused that for the mole ability that pops you up into an empty space that is getting attacked. That's unfortunately a different thing. Fuck. Well, that was an immediate whoopsie. Uh, oh well, it's fine. We can go ahead and place a spittle there right now, and uh, we'll take the one from the Banshee. But that means the sarcophagus can't come out, so we're fine. Uh, I've got one more turn before I can get this curve hopper out, which would be very, very nice to have, mind you. Uh, I think we're good here. Again, taking the one. What's cool is that we had an immediate two attack advantage. So, being able to kind of hold my own for two turns against those guys uh, meant that we're back to being even. No matter, death is not fat, never final. And unfortunately, that Banshee will be back very, very shortly. So we've got a, sh a, a quick period of time to be able to take advantage of it. But, guess what I can fucking do now? We got plenty of bones. We got plenty of bones for you, baby. How you like them bones? Boom, shakalaka. And that bone hound's gonna have to come back. But it might be too late by then. It might be too late by then. 
So we'll just have to see. All right, Bone Lady. Ah, uh, who? Ah, uh, who? Let's just put the final nail in this coffin right now. I'm not playing around. I'm not playing any more games. I'm not playing any more games with these bosses. Ba bam! Cool. Uh, unfortunately. Yeah, I probably should not have put out the elk. In hindsight, may not have put out the elk. But we got, hey, hey, you know what? We got the corpses. And uh, we got Plasma Jimmy. Plasma Jimmy's gonna be really handy. And I think this Bone Heap corpse still has its active ability, which is kind of great. So it's now actually being back to being able to do something for us. Uh, and we will place, I mean, We're basically just gonna tank three damage there. I don't think I wanna do that this early on. So let's place Plasma Jimmy. He'll take two, still be alive, and uh, oh, 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 baby. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Plasma Jimmy fires off a pew! And then a, a pew pew! To remove the Bone Hound from immediate play. That's awesome. Uh, unfortunately, we can't just fire a shot over the bow. That would be nice, but uh, not quite. Three attacks from the Mantis. And then an extra two from the Bone Pile, and we have beaten our third boss immediately. Uh, uh, uh. Not even ten minutes into the stream tonight, and we've already beaten our third boss. That's awesome. I know that is your ambition to replace Leshy, but, well, uh, between you and I, there, there will come an opportunity to change your mind. And I beg that you spare me. Take these, go! And we shall receive more of the Bones. A skeleton that dies upon uh, immediate attacking. Field mice that bops him on the head. Also good. What else you got? I'm gonna drug her. Ooh. That might be nice to play in there because it is only the one bones. Uh oh. We're battery low again. What are we gonna see? What are we gonna see? What are we gonna see this time? Back into Cam Works, baby. My favorite editing software. All right, thank you, Harwood. I tried my best. Battery is now fully charged. Um. Wait. What? Didn't we already see these? I yeah, we did. Weird. I wonder if it's because we're... Yeah, and then he says he can't do it. Did anything change? Uh-oh. Well, that's not good. Uh... Okie dokie. Okay, uh, so yeah, we have definitely seen all of this. I think that means we can just move on. This is actually probably where we left off. Except for the fact that when we came back here last time, we had already beaten two. That's strange. That's strange that they threw that in there with nothing having changed. Anyway, whatever. Doesn't matter. Final tower. The note reads, Greetings. If you are reading this, it is because you wish to challenge me, Magnificus, to a card battle. But in order to gain that privilege, you must first defeat my three graduate students. As for their whereabouts, that is for you to discover. Sincerely, Magnificent. I guess that's that's just the voice that we discovered along reading that. Cool. Inside of the chest is covered in a sticky green goo. But you find the magical card pack. Nice. Gourmage, uh, pay two bonds to increase the power of health of Gourmage by one. 
And then the Master Orlu Airborne. Also, when Master Orlu deals damage directly, draw a card for each damage dealt. That's pretty good. Bolt Town. When an opposing creature is placed in the opposite empty space, Bolt Town will bolt to that empty space. Not too shabby. Uh, we got a monocle there on the table, and the, clearly that's what they want me to interact with, so... I'm gonna do everything, everything else around here first. <laughs> uh... Hmm? What? That's weird. Okay, um... It's got three sigils here from various cards that it wants me to place in order on this totem. A strange monocle. We put it on. Ooh! <gasps> Ooh! <gasps> it's the master's monocle! Skull. Airborne. Skull. This game's so cool, you guys. This game's so cool. Ta-da! Whoa, we were transported. Oh, it's the goopy guy! The pain is unbearable. My organs are bad. Do you see magnificent turn me into goo for my final exam? I just need to defeat one more challenge. Then I'll earn my rightful place. My rightful place in the deck of a master. As one of his prize conquerors. Cool. So it's time to take down old Goopy Boy. Um, uh, I think we're still doing pretty good as far as our deck goes. So what do we got over here? Green Mage. The power of the Green Mage is equal to the number of green gems that the owner has on their green side of the green table. The Emerald Mox over there is going to provide each of them with one attack. So <clears throat> we want to do something that's going to get rid of that. Uh, I.E. I mean, Immediate Mantis God always works well. Always works well. Unfortunately, they will get an attack in. But I think it's fine. I think it's fine. We will have already countered that with three damage of our own. So one, two, three. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Uh, not only that, but I can play you, and then I can put you out here. Hrockle gives us another energy cell. And I have enough bones to be able to power up the bone heap. Man, come on, you guys. This strategy is working. This strategy is like every year at the Met Gala. Absolutely working. I mean, come on. All I got is one more round, and you're done. Son, you're done. Son! We'll go ahead and put out the Mole Man just for fun. Son. Before he gets done, excess damage rolls over into foils. My favorite. We'll have to find that trader and actually trade in some of those because now we've got a bunch. No, pluggy, pluggy, just tell the master I pass. He won't know. Here, take this pack and definitely not as a bribe. Master Gorange. If Master Garange's owner controls no mox cards, Master Garange perishes. Okay. So, are the. I can open the door. Uh, let me look at these magician's cards here. Ruby Mox. Got it. Okay, so when it says mox cards, it's talking about having one of these on the field. Right? Right. Right? Right. Because that's not the first card that we've had where if 
controls no mox cards, the maze pupil perish, uh, perishes. I assume because they are powerful and free? I don't know. You can draw an equal card to the amount of mox cards on your side of the board, which would be drawing one card there. Uh, whenever Ruby Golem perishes, a Ruby Mox is created in its place. Okay. Okay. Unfortunately, I still don't really understand it well enough to try and experiment with it, nor put it in my deck at this point, so... Sorry, Magnificence. Your cards kind of suck balls to me. Excuse me. You wish to trade? I do wish to trade. But probably with not you here. Ooh. When Bleen's Mox is on the board, it provides a blue gem to its owner. Also, it provides a green gem to its owner. Also, it blocks two damage. That's not bad. But I probably want to venture out of here and over to one of the other traders in one of the other boards that has something in the decks that I use. Let me just take a little peek -see. <laughs> I get it, Harwood. I get it. I approve. Okay, we got uh, a couple of THICC droids and some leap bots. I do remember those leap bots being very fanciful. Hmm. THICC droids cost a whole five energy, which takes a while to build up. So I don't... Uh, I'm gonna travel over to Necromancer land and just see what's over there. I mean, honestly, the best thing to do is probably just gonna be to buy one of the themed packs. And just see what you get, you know? But, uh... Eh. It takes very little time to go and see. Why not? We got a Zambo. We got a Gravedigger. Ooh. At the end of his turn, he generates... One born. That's kind of nice. And then he's replaced with a Draugr. You get another Bone Heap, but I, I, th I think I've already got a couple of Bone Heaps, so I'm pretty good on that. Ooh. Seven Bones for the Bone Hound? Eh, no thank you. I do love that Necromancer, though. Let me see if one is in my deck. If not, I'm going to put one in my deck. And also, I want to make sure and put that new card that I just got in there, too. So, going back to the Wizard's Tower. We should have, what, two more challengers in here, I think? There were three for each place so far. I'm going to guess one is in the book. Ha-ha. Oh. Oh. It's the card collection. How cool. So I'm actually missing a decent amount in a lot of the categories. Who knew? Okay, uh, let me go into, whoa. Why? Shovel. Shovel? Why is there a shovel here? And that's the only one. I don't see anything else, nor do I see any other clues. Huh. Huh. Okay. Anyway, uh, I let's do what I actually came to the menu to do, and not get distracted as I am wont to do. Ha ha! You should be so proud of me. Uh, we want to put the Grave Digger into our deck. Thank you. Uh, is there anything I want to take out? Not really. I think we're good just leaving that one in. It costs a bone. It's not like I even need a squirrel for it. Uh, we will have a bone along the way. And yeah, I think we wanted to put. Oh, we already have a necrom necromancer in there. Do we want to put in a second? Sure. No. Because I've only got a couple of bone things in there. Now, the bone heap 
does take advantage of have uh, having a lot of bones. Do I need some? Do I even need something like the walkers in there? That's four for four. No, not when I've got something like. Uh, what was it? There's a three for four. The broken obal here. Do I have any of those in this deck? No, I don't. So no, we're good. We're back to 20 where we were having just added in an extra. Oh no, we didn't add that. We added the grave digger. Mm. Rock Hall is pretty good and it does help me get to being able to play stuff like the curve hopper and Mrs. Bomb. You know what? I don't think I need Mrs. Bomb. I can get rid of that and take an extra necromancer instead mrs bomb is a fun card but i don't think it's a useful card especially here okay we're good so dumb question is anything happen when we return to the starting area where you got the starting deck after beating the boss uh not so far let me check this has all been the same and i can't interact with any of these boys uh, nor has anything changed as far as I'm aware. The flowers are still just as colorless and, uh, we'll say early spring, maybe dead of summer dead. You know, one of those where the color is completely gone. Uh, okay. Now, my other question is, where would I input that shovel? Because, oh, we got another one here. Choo, 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 choo. How very Pokemon of you stares. Uh, we got the dummy that stares lifelessly back at me. This suddenly springs into motion. Oh, no. We must tra take down the trading dummy. And it's a practice mage, force mage, practice mage, practice mage. Okay. I mean... I should probably re-roll this. I don't know what this guy's gimmick is going to be. It seems like it's not even doing anything at the moment. So I'm just going to play you. And wait. Okay. So I'm going to play you. And put you there. I'm very cautious about this. And also, the back damage is really nice. Uh, let's... Ooh. I am one bullet away from being able to break out in that Necromancer. Unfortunately, the Elk's not going to attack the Force Mage, but he will move. Uh, I can go ahead and play you and use your ability... Ha! To take out the Force Mage the fun way. Excellent, which means this practice mage will move forward finally. Oh, hey Uh so In the in the options menu I had a shovel Where's my pen? Where's my pen? I've got so much shit on my desk. Where's my pen? <laughs> uh Options Shovel. And then dummy. Card. Was airborne. And then, okay, we'll keep going. Uh, I think I'm just about ready to finish this fight anyway. So, ding. Cool. We could play the curve hopper. I could play you. Ding. Wow, racked up another four in excess damage. Yes. Cool. Okay, and it returns back to its lifeless state. Wait. Oh, okay. We're fighting it again. We're doing this again. I didn't mean to. But we're doing it again. <laughs> Whoopsie poopsie. Uh, ding. So I'm guessing that's the whole kind of gimmick of this fight is figuring out, hey, how do you kill the thing that's unkillable? And then once you do kill it and have this thing move forward, then you get to see the secret. 
unless you kill it too fast. <laughs> okay, so the dummy is back down. Let's not fight it a third time. What's inside of the chest? Whoa, a gem fiend. If gem fiend's owner controls no mox cards, this one perishes. So yeah, that's actually on a lot more of these cards than I thought it would be. Uh, I see the pit down there. I don't like the pit. Shovel, airborne, and I mean, I guess I could genuinely just kind of brute force it like this, but we don't actually know that the shovel that was in my options menu is even a part of that. Is that something else? Okay, never mind. That brings me right back down here. I figured it would, I, I, but you never know. And we can't go through this door as of yet. Okay. So then let me try flipping these. Maybe it just goes in the opposite order. And then da 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 we're back around to the beginning. Fuck! Okay. I'm gonna do the only thing that I can do. And fight the dummy again. <laughs> okay. Aha! Aha? Uh, dummy card two skull. I bet we did miss one in the previous fight then. Huh. Because remember, Dan, I'm not entirely sure that the shovel is even a part of this. The shovel. Uh, okay. Dummy. Wrong color. Dummy. Marks. Three. Push. Okay. Well, let's see what we got. Uh, wing, skull, push. Dan says skull, push, wing. Aha! Huh. Curious. What the fuck? What are you? Are you someone we've met before? Just imagine you're an ice cube, slowly melting on a hot pan. Oh, I was only talking to myself. The pain of being a head impaled upon a spear is, well, it is not worth it, of course. Magnificus would have warned me with the highest honor. I will be the centerpiece of his deck. Gross. Also, the card has got a hole in it. Mage Knight controls no Mox cards, then that perishes. Interesting. So, we can actually take advantage of that weakness a little bit by kind of having... By, by destroying all the Mox cards. All right. I think I know what I want to do. I'm gonna use these two to bring out my elk very early on. And how about, yeah, little grave digger, who's gonna be able to find me some bones every turn? You don't wanna go up onto that hill though. No, you definitely don't, sir. Cool, grave digger dug up another bone and ouch. 
I won't be able to kill this Ruby Mox, at least not as of yet. Not as of yet. But as soon as I got the squirrel, we'd be good to go. Fuck yeah. And because the golem didn't die on the battlefield, it doesn't leave behind a mox either. Cha-cha. And we'll go ahead and bring out the Necromancer. Why not? An extra one damage out there. And anything on our field that dies, dies a second time. We got another bone. Arge Mage. Mox cards on the owner's side of the board gain one power. Guess what? You ain't got no Mox cards. You ain't got no Mox cards. Picked up my mouse switch now, unfortunately. Oh, well that's annoying, Dan. I think I just won. Pretty sure I just won. That Mantis God is just insane. Anytime I get to, to bring that out. Nice. Cool, great job. Hmm, perhaps I will not be central to his strategy. I care not, he can use me as a chump blocker. I have mastered this appointment. Take this pack. Remember, remember that this is also the pack that uh, the computer auto-completed for me. <laughs> Not one that I made myself. I can't take the credit for all of it. Now, I am very curious about that that's got to come up somewhere the top sigil is found by the greedy the bottom sigil is found by the hard of hearing or those who hear too easily aha because it's in the audio effects got it got it got it got it got it got it cool and then the middle sigil is found to the pale Pale. Chest is empty, save for a single card. I'll take that, rabbit. Nice. You reach it back if more. No, just a sigil. Nice. Though so the wing sigil is on top. Found by the pale. No, that can't be it, right? By the pale? Oh! Looky, looky, up here in the corner. Ha, 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 ha. Skull. Got it. Okay, cool. Cool. Wing, skull, shovel. Nice! Great work, everybody! At last! At last stimulation! My test has been sensory deprivation! Jesus. This is actually really cool. <laughs> I, I imagine that the entire place is actually just this guy. Even though he's got very tiny eyes and a, and a little small hat, the entirety of the space is his body. <coughs> Gem Fiend. Without the Mox card, that card dies. Good to know. All right, so, ba bam and put out that immediate Mantis God. My favorite card, the Mantis God. Uh, if a creature that I own dies, it dies a Jane. Now nah, we're good. Excellent. Not only do we get in an extra one attack, but uh, we also got rid of the Sapphire Mox. And guess what? We'll be able to get rid of the other Mox as well. Let's start generating some bones. What do you guys think? Yeah, generating some bones? I think, I think we should. You should immediately die because it requires Mox cards to exist, so it immediately perishes. Excellent work. 
Oh, why, thank you, Daniel. I do so try to be slightly amusing. Uh, we can't kill the Force Mage directly. But... That doesn't matter when I've got the Mantis God. And the Grave Digger makes another bullet. I can... Um... I can play the Hrock Hall just here, which provides me with an extra energy cell and should kill that Banshee. Stupid fucking Banshee. God, I love this Mantis God. It's the best. It's the best. I can now bring out the Necromancer if I so desire. I mean, sure. Fuck it. Fuck it. The battle is won anyway. So what does it really matter? At the end of the day. That was incredibly stimulating! We we are done here, right? I wish to see the light again to see if your dance you would leave, would you? Actually I would. I just I just go out the same way that I came in, right? Double gunner, awesome. Ooh, my very own sarcophagi. I don't think I have one of those yet. <coughs> uh, yes, Dan, that is correct. We were able to encounter Ouroboros once, and it still had its stats. Uh, I think it's now a 4-4 at this point. But I don't remember what kind of card it was. I think it might have been a beast card. I actually kind of wonder whether it'd be worth it to go back real quick. To Whoa, what am I doing? I don't need to go down the stairs. I can go this way. And that takes me all the way back down to the bottom. Wow, yeah, so that is definitely overloaded for sure. I didn't really, what? Whoa, secret, secret layer. The mycologist. Oh, this is awesome. They require duplicates. Uh, they need two grave diggers. Okay, okay, I can do that, I think. Probably. But yeah, I kind of wanted to keep it fair. You know what I mean? At least somewhat fair. My grave digger. Shit. Tomb robber. Ooh, pay one bone to create a skeleton in my hand. That's not bad. Which attack and then immediately perish, giving me another bone. So I can literally. Oh man, that's rude. That's rude and crude. <laughs> yeah, that's very much a part of like an infinite skeleton man situation. Ooh, the Pharaoh's pets. Counted as three blood rather than one blood, also sacrificing it does not kill it. Jeez, I'm crumb. Jeez, I'm crumb. All right, well, unfortunately, I don't have enough to do the Grave Digger. All right, to, to, to get the Grave Digger anymore. Uh, so we can't appease the Mike and Ikes. Darn. Oh, well, it's fine. And I didn't even really go, I didn't go and buy one of the beast packs to look for the Ouroboros, which was the whole point in the first place. Ah, I'm disappointed. <laughs> I am disappointed, son. Ooh. Magnificus is here. And it seems as though his very special paints that he uses to create cards are only visible through his own monocle. The note reads... De Dearest Grybora, I believe PO3's plot may go far past the extent of a common power grab. Indeed, the Great Transcendence will have catastrophic and unpredictable results. The note is incomplete and ends abruptly. I urge you to consider. Let us gaze upon his work. No? No? Okay. I was going to gaze upon your work, sir. 
Sadly, we cannot. What is in here? Uh, a bath? A paint sink? Ooh! Nice! The Great Kraken submerges itself during its opponent's turn. While submerged, opposing creatures attack its owner directly. Weird? I mean, sure, don't mind if I do. That's actually the second time that I've interacted with the tentacle like that. Huh. Uh, I know that Kieran from Team Four Star, T Team Four Star, I assume, TFS. Working on his own car paints RPG. And I recall Joe Cat was doing something. Not me. Ah, you are here at last. How do my pupils fare? They're terrible. I beat them all. I beat them fucking all. No matter, there are far more concerned against you than can. Do you understand the canvas that you have been woven into? Nay, you are the brush. And the artist moves you with terrifying mastery. Ooh. My eye aches with premonition. The future is very, very grim indeed. First, we must battle! Ooh, I love it. Behold, the brush of the scribe of magic. My pupils would die to be painted by it and live forever as a card, but that is not the full extent of his powers. Now for a bit of color. Ooh. This will need some bleach! Bleach! And color! And ble oh! Oh look, he's so cute dancing along. Is that one of the pupils, I think? Yeah. So the, the students are just gonna be dancing in the background? Oh, that's awesome. Ah. So, I guess random sigils will now get put on all of my cards while Magus is on the board. Ooh, that's bad. That's bad. Question though. What does this sigil mean again? I kind of forgot. And I don't know how to look at the, the book. But I think I should go ahead and do this. I mean, top right, it's telling me. Top right, it's telling me. Oh! I, you know what? I absolutely did not realize that it changed the descriptions. God, what an idiot. What an idiot. I can't believe I just... Anyway, Mott's card to the other side of the board. Gate one power. When the squirrel is playing, you draw cards equal to the amount of Mox cards on my side of the board. Probably go and put that there. Keep the Mantis God where it is for now. Shit. And yeah, the Ruby Box is in its place, which now does one damage. It creates a rabbit in my hand. We draw cards equal to the number of boxes on the board, which is now one, so I get one, and that gets bleached and replaced with another. Ay -ay 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 -ay. Okay, well, the good news is I can literally do that and then pull out a rabbit, which gets a new sigil. Uh, I can play you, which will increase the damage of that. Easily killing that green mage. Thank you very much. And killing that also means the Magnus Mox does no damage. Also great news. Uh, Mox cards on the other side of the board gain one power. Once Rabbit is struck, the dealer gets a single point of damage. Let's do that. We'll let Rabbit die to this boy. Yeah, the spikes dig in and kill the gem fiend. Yay! Fuck you, gem fiend! You suck! You suck balls! I'm going to play Jimmy Plasma, which makes my Ruby Bot now a three damage. It does, but now that I'm playing with some Mox rules here, because it seems like it's only giving me. Uh, Mox sigils, it is very much, like Harwood said, forcing me to use his mechanics, which is making me learn them a little bit. 
So I can actually see how powerful this deck could really be. But I've also got my own numbers on the board, so that's nice. Uh, I could go about... Do I want to get out another mox and make it a 2-2 situation, or do I like where I'm at now? I think I like where I'm at now. Yeah, I think I like where I'm at. Cool, that replaced his. Uh, nice. That is actually great news. Because now I can sacrifice you, play you, which pulls a rabbit out of my hat. Thank you very much. I will play the rabbit, which pulls yet another rabbit out of my hat. And now I will play Hrothal. Hrothal, excuse me, just there. Uh, Hrothal, when it dies, will make another of these rubies. And yeah, we're good. Oh, never mind. We won. Yay, we won. Sweet. So that's all four down. Very well, we have battled. And now I may speak. You see, my eye, it aches because it remembers it was excised. Which is how it ended up in the box. And inside of our eyeball. By none other than Leshy, the scribe of beasts. And a beast he is, arrogant, single-minded, obsessed with gaining power. But he is far from the worst scribe to become hegemon. You see, the ejection of my eyeball is far from the worst thing that can happen around here. You must be especially aware of- Oh, shit! Uh... Did... Did he just, like, get erased? I think he might have just got erased, which is not good. There's Bloodhound, nice. Yeah, he definitely got smoked, that's for sure. Was that paint trail there before? I don't remember. I don't think so. Still can't do anything with this guy back here, which is strange. You would think that, uh, I would. Hmm. Okay, I guess we've done all we can do here in the tower. The only thing left to do is to go back to the main altar and take our place as the rightful scribe of beasts. Right? Probably. Okay. It is your time, challenger. Choose the scribe that you shall replace. I mean... Leshy was the bad guy. But Dan makes an excellent point. Magnificus just got erased. So technically he isn't there anymore. And that would uh, restore balance to the world or whatever, whatever, whatever. And we did beat Leshy already. So, I mean, we could probably do the same here. Replace Magnificus to become the scribe of magics. Or replace PO3 to become the scribe of technology. I don't know. What do you guys think? The scribe of the dead. Dan says magic. What do you say, Harwood? Very true.
I already know I am lost. I have foreseen it. My eye aches once again. Why must my pathetic slime mage always fail? But I would have to be so meticulous with my preparedness. If I, if I myself had tasted power, alas, I may never know. Show yourself, fiendish machine! Alas, ill fates await us all. Tedious old fool, I don't owe you anything. Now, let's play. You're supposed to battle the scribe you picked, but like a powered up version for the finale. Oh, this is going to be different. Okay. Yeah, the blood moon's not great. Yeah, it's like we're back having the fight with Leshy because uh, that the, the moon did the exact same thing. Automaton, no traits over there. So yeah, let's get this party started. One, two, three damage on my side and the gravedigger digs up a bone. I'll just leave this here. I gotta give it to that treasure. Not as useless as I thought. Uh oh. Oh, wait a minute. Do you reckon this is the card? Like the fucked up card that he ended up pulling out of? Oh. Neat. Attack it! It has 98 defense. Oof. That's Hit me where it hurts, Daddy. Okay, what the fuck was that? What the fuck? Oh, he's real. Oh no. Oh no. This suddenly just got way too real for me. You done gawking. Can we can start? Good. Oh shit. Oh shit! Are we fucking. Are we in part three? I think we might be in part three, you guys! This is Botopia, a once great technological paradise. It's ruled over by four. Uh, Uberbots. That's right. Yes, Uberbots had that planned the whole time. And you've got to get out there and beat them. Why? Because I said so. That's why. To perform the great transcendence, of course. Doesn't matter what that means. Just trust me. You want it. Okay. You want it. You want it. <laughs> and now we've got a whole new set of cards here. Energy bot that gives me, I'm assuming, when a card buried in the citrus plate, it provides an energy cell. Nano armor. The first time, oh, wow. Prevent damage for the shield bot. You may choose which opposing space a card bearing the sigil strikes. What? Fuck me. And then the big old double gunner. Oh, no. Get up. No. We've got transcending to do. How dare you even consider it? Well, fuck. Botopia used to be safe for travelers. Now, rogue bots block all the major roads. Get ready for a rogue bot. And now the battle begins. We've still got a hammer to be able to beat out one of the bots. Got a save over there. You're not used to seeing five lanes, are you? Leshy could never pull that type of shit. 
Yeah, big man with five lanes. Sprinter, at the end of the owner's turn, a car bearing the sigil will move in the direction inscribed on the sigil. It's a 49er in a minecart. I fucking love it. This is great. You cannot draw a card on your first turn. Oh, cool. So the cards are on the back of old fucking three and a half inch floppies. That's awesome. Oh, this is so cool. The aesthetic on this is amazing. <gasps> Dan. Daniel Mullins. You, you, you amazing bastard, you. This is the best. This is the fucking best. Empty vessel. Nice little guarding straight out of the way. Why not? Next turn, we'll have the energy bot to be able to play and actually get an extra energy. Ding, fries are done. Okay, empty vessel takes one damage. The automaton and an explodo bot. That's not great. That's not great at all. Uh, although, oh no, it's 10 damage, isn't it? Yeah, oof. I was going to say, will that nano armor negate it? It absolutely will not. Oh, but we can continue to draw these empty vessels, which basically continue to act as stalls, you know. So energy bot goes out, grants me plus one, and I can play another empty vessel if I so desire to kind of continue to block some of the damage. Thank you. Okay, that didn't feel great. And I think these are all being like animated as a uh... mmm play a sniper bot here and I'm actually going to tell it to kill the explodo bot even though there's nothing else for me around it. Um they they're being represented as as gunfire here and the whole aesthetic change is really cool. I absolutely love this. Let me use the skeleton guard to hold the coordinates probably written on... Uh, maybe so, yeah. Ooh, very nice connection, Dan. Okay, sniper bot is going to go over here. Huh. Curious that it didn't... Well, I mean, I guess nothing was around to die, so the effect of the sniper bot didn't really matter. We could put... We're one away from being able to play the double gunner. We'll put the shield bot here. And an empty vessel isn't really going to do anything, unfortunately. So I think we're good. And sniper bot's going to kill you. Ha 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 ha. Unfortunately, that's the end of sniper bot. But it's fine. We play that. And my double gunner. Yeah, bitches. Yeah, bitches. Uh, uh. Uh, eat my threes. What are you? What are you, little scared guy? You don't have anything to be frightened about. At least not for me. I don't know about this guy, but not for me. I'm just going to go ahead and fill out the field here. Uh, 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 eat my three damage. Woo. And we get extra credits for uh, uh, breaking the bots harder. The best defense. Other robots. You carry a spark that can uh, reactivate uh, old robots or something like that. Oh no, Harwood. Really? That's strange. Is anybody else having problems with the stream? Or is it, or is that problems with your computer? Oh, okay. Okay, cool. Add them to your deck, you know, then they can fight for you. Neat. Uh, Bolt Town Alarm Bot. Creature opposing this card gains one power. What? Why would you want that? That's terrible. Moves it to a space opposing a card bearing the sigil. They are dealt one damage. That's pretty good, actually. And then the Bolt Town from 2 2 that uh, moves into an opposite space. Uh, 
Ah, well, Century Hound it is. Century Drum, rather, not Hound. Ooh, there is a third direction that you weren't gonna tell me about. That's definitely the way I'm gonna go then. And we'll go down from here. Money, 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 ooh, money. Still can't get away. Okay. It'd be kind of nice to actually track like a map, like a like a like a legend of, original Legend of Zelda style map of where we go, but that may be asking too much. You'll need more than a few reactivated bots. That is, if you truly wish to enact the Great Transcendence, Botopia has some of the most OP items just lying around, like that one, super overpowered. That will recharge your energy one turn. Pretty damn good. If you're smart, you'll use your items liberally. You'll, you'll replenish them at a waypoint, obviously. Don't be a dirty soy boy cuck. Use your items liberally. <laughs> All right, battle time. We got a couple broken bots out on the field. Oh, that's cool. I love how they're projected up like that. I wish the other cards were projected up. Oh, that'd be so cool. That'd be so cool. The energy summoning mechanic feels very Hearthstone, unless she's original code, feels very Yu-Gi-Oh. No, you're absolutely right. I did not make that connection either. You're you're absolutely right because the resources build every turn in stuff like Hearthstone, where stuff like Magic, you have to place stuff out on the field that gives you those kind of cards. So lands would be very representative of the mocks uh, and. I don't really know of anything that plays off of death stuff, but I think some Yu-Gi-Oh cards do do that as well. But the basic sacrifice mechanic of Leshy does harken back to the original Yu-Gi-Oh stuff. Uh, and some of the fusing mechanics as well. So that's that you're you're absolutely right. What an amazing observation. Okay, we got a shield bot there, but it's not going to rove around. So I don't think that uh, when a creature moves into the space, that's the trick. So that's really only good when you've got like an elk on the other side of the board or something else that moves around, like the mine cart. But it's okay. He's okay. Bam! Ouch. I will draw a card. I will play... Ooh. Definitely not gonna, ooh, definitely not gonna. Well, I mean, to be fair, the energy bot kind of has its effect played out the second it leaves. So we're kind of good. The second it leaves my hand, that is. So yeah, we'll get the extra energy. That broken bot deals a ton of damage across everywhere. I'm actually, Rather upset that it didn't ki kill the shield bot. Across it. I wonder if it took away its nullification. What? The first time it would take any damage. So that's... So, okay. Last match, I was wondering whether it would take the full brunt of the 10 damage and nullify all of it. Or it would only nullify one damage. But as it turns out, it nullifies all of the damage from the broken bot. So that's really good to know. Considering what I'm about to do in just a minute. Alright, draw. Uh, I will take a shield bot and put you right there. Since now we know that that fucking blocks all damage. And go for it, babe. We are in grave danger, unfortunately. But if I were to place this right here, and then I can use the sniper skill to take out Explodobot, which removes his shield bot. Nope, that that's too much damage. Bark! Oh, I should have recharged my he my damage. Damn it! 
No way. So now we're Dark Souls? Not so easy, all the robots in the area have just respawned. It's Dark Souls. <laughs> That's amazing. This game is so great. All right, so we're back with the 49er. I've still got my sentry drone, so that's good. Because I can immediately play that right there, knowing that as soon as, uh... Oh, I don't have any energy left. Oops. That as soon as the minecart moves into its space, it's dead. Which it moves right now. Bam! Later, Tater. Excellent. I'm gonna take another empty vassal. Uh, let's put that across from you. And another empty vassal and place it across from you. Done. Cool. How about let's draw a good card? Energy bot to give me one, and then a she. No, ah, farts. Insectodrome, huh? Okay, that's fine. It'll be the only one that's dealing damage. Like actual damage to me right now. Draw. Uh, I do have enough to actually play the shield bot. Let's play the shield bot across from the explodo bot now that we know that it actually blocks the damage there. Thank you very much. And I'm going to play the empty vessel across from the jumper. Although the jumper doesn't actually attack, so didn't really need to do that. All right. Now we can play the double gunner and get this win a rockin. Excellent. That is five damage I just dealt back to him. Thank you very much. Shink. Uh, let's go ahead and break this empty vessel. Place a sniper bot in this place. Dang. Sniper bot kills the insecto drone. And that's an additional five damage going his way. Thank you very much. I wonder if that money's going to be there again. Ah, bitch. That's not great. Oh, wait. Ta-da! Nice. We got our souls back. <laughs> oh, this game. This freaking game. I love it. Okay, so let's do this uh, let's let's do this battle a little bit better this time. What do you think? Uh, I'm actually going to Oh, I don't have my sentry bot anyway. Or my uh, shield bot out yet. Anyway, I'm going to place the empty vessel right here for the moam. And as soon as I get my shield bot, I'll be able to destroy that broken bot and make a really good day for myself. Cool. Let's play the energy bot over here so that we can go ahead and get that extra energy for next turn. Tank some damage. Easy. And draw. Shield bot, go. <clears throat> Empty vessel, go. Destroy them. Okay, didn't work exactly as planned, but it wasn't the worst thing I've ever done. Hmm. Still need to be able to take out that shield bot, though. I can do that with my sniper bot, but I'm still leaving myself exposed to one damage from the bomb. But it won't kill me. And it'll keep my sniper bot alive as well. And now I've got enough to play the double gunner. But unfortunately, the only place I can play it, really, is right across from this bomb, which is bad news bears. Or, as much as I hate to do it, let's do that. And then I'm going to put, oh, piss, I'm out of energy. Oh, well, it's fine. We will deal, aha! Aha! A decent amount of damage there. Unfortunately, my sniper is dead. 
And I am out of attacking cards. Okay, empty Wessel over here. I think we're good. We'll deal two and hopefully be able to win this fight. Okay, I win. I concede. Let's move on. No, I shall not accept your stupid surrender, you asshole. Empty Wessel in place. Empty Wessel in place. Bam! Bam! Give me that extra money. Sucker. I'll take that one dollar. Yes, it was worth it. It's always worth it. All right, so we can get another double gunner or an alarm bot. I really don't know why you would want an alarm bot. And a creature opposing a... The creature opposing a car bearing this sigil gains one power. Why the fuck would you want that? Because it's not even like anything happens when it dies. It would be one thing if it, like, also dealt exploding damage. So you could place that in front of a wall that doesn't attack to make it an attacking creature. You know what I mean? The real best way to fight back those robots. Modify yours. Give them OP abilities. Let us modify them. Okay, uh... I'm gonna have to give up one. Yeah, they're all really great, although the Sentry Drone is probably the one that can be given up the easiest. Let's see. Oh! Oh! Can I go back? No, I can't go back. Farts. That sucks. I wish I, I really wish I had known how that worked. Let's go with death touch. Yeah. And now that I know how that works, if I ever encounter it again, you better believe we'll know what to do. Just make sure there isn't anything else <clears throat> kind of over here. Sorry, I got the burpees right now. Okay, guardrails all along the line here, so we're down to just three lanes for this fight. Uh, the alarm bot is going to make my creatures more powerful. I don't understand. I don't understand that card. Like at all. Not even a little bit. Dang. Okay, let's go ahead and go with that. Uh, let's play the energy bot here. Dang. Nice. Why, why would you want that card? I don't get it. I don't get it. Because now my energy bot can't attack. Like, whatever. Whatever. It's not for me to understand. Let us place the shield bot! And destroy them, my pretties. Excellent. Excellent. Oh, I have both of my double gunners out now. Oh, whatever shall I do? Bam! Destroy that energy bot. I love, I love the fat, the idea of crushing a three and a half inch floppy with a hammer. Because you better believe I did that a ton as a kid. But for real. Okay, shield bot takes care of, oopsies. Him, a swap bot. Ha ha, Sw wait. After it is dealt damage, swap its power and health. Uh-oh. 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 It'll be fine. Empty vessel, destroyed. Double gunner, go. Because that's an instant fight. Excellent. Ouch. <laughs> All right, let's draw. How about a snipper bot? Watch this shit. Dang. Two. Bam. And it'll switch and 
You're dead, sucker! Sucker! Excellent. Great work, everybody. You've made it to the first waypoint. Cool, excellent, great job. We will save your progress here. All items are recharged. Bot the sh bots that you have destroyed in the area will stay that way. And if and when you do perish, you'll be brought back here. It's a truly elegant system. Trust me. Trust me. Trust me. Whoa. Central bot. What? How do I? What? Okay, so I'll be able to, like, travel between waypoints and stuff. Man, oh, this game is just so deep and wide and de has such depth and breadth that it, 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 I'm just blown away every step, every single step of this journey. I love, this is the best game. Glorious commerce, your Robux are accepted here. Eight Robux, 10 Robux, 22 Robux, 26 Robux. All right, let's see what I can uh, upgrade here. Pick one of my OP cards. Let's make them even more OP. How about the double gunner? What do you want to do to it? Let me calibrate. We can give it Mole Man, we can give it Push, or we can give it Sentry. That's actually, none of those are really all that great, but at least having sentry means that it can attack something in front of it that decides to move in front of it. So it's not the worst in the world. Um, eight Robux. Although I am very curious about what those other items do. I gotta admit. All right, we got another choice. Ching, ching, ching. Busted 3D printer. Once a card bearing the sigil is struck, draw a card from your empty vessel pile. Okay. And then explodey bot. When a card bearing the sigil dies, the creature opposing it. You know, that might not be a bad skill to put on the uh, double gunner. Because the only time the double gunner really gets in trouble is when something ends up being in a whoop. Hello. Hello. Trap. Nice. So that's what is $22. A pelt. A digital pelt. Woof. Sorry. Turn back. This bridge is totally busted. Go back. I need time. Beat a boss. That should give me enough time. Okay. Cool. We'll go back. Uh... I still don't know what's under this rock, and I can't click on it or interact with it. Anyway. Uh, yeah, so one of these pelts costs 22 Robux. Robobux, excuse me. And I still don't know what this trophy is, but whatever. We got a pelt. I feel very, very powerful now that we got a pelt for some reason. Eastern, Vautopia. Not much of value out this way. Wait. Is this world kind of shaped like the overworld? So remember, we can't, okay, so hold on. Hold the fucking phone. Is it? Is it? I need to look at the map again. I think it is. You know, for the great transcendence, this way. Because it was basically, the center stones and then it went down one and then it branched out in like a dog bone shape where the lines went out and they were the bridges and then you could we couldn't go to the side with the robots and the wizard because we had to uh beat one of the other bosses first while she refilled the bit uh redid the bridge so this seems very familiar to me is all i'm saying Okay, uh, Alarm Bot deals two damage, which sucks balls. But... We could put Empty Wessel here in front, at least at first, to block its damage. Draw a card. 
energy bot will now go across to give me another energy and kill it. Thank you very much. Oh, we got another alarm bot. Fart nuggets. But hey. You know what I could do? Put out that explodey bot. Go for it, fuck face. I don't know why I'm so violent. There we go, we did it. And with the board cleared, let's put out, uh, you got anything else, chief? Shield bot. Go for it. Nice. There's another alarm bot. I will take you on momentarily. Uh, we've got enough to put out my Question. When a creature moves into the space opposing a card bearing the sigil, they are dealt one damage. Does that mean sliding forward? Not just sliding across, but sliding forward. I'm gonna try it. Because we can also use this item to recharge all of my energy and play this other one over here. So, Unfortunately, I think I just dealt so much damage the battle is automatically over and I won't get to find out the answer to my question But you know what they say there's no kill like overkill ha! <laughs> Are you wondering about that star you've been winning a lot now you've got a bounty on your head It's sure to attract bounty hunters. It resets when you die though Okie dokie uh, eh, 49 is not bad. Swap bot swaps its attack and defense. I actually don't like that at all. Uh, I would rather get 49er than Rogues, I think. Ching ching. Thank you very much. Now, what are you? You're a robot. You're a drone that. Got electrified. Looks like it now has kind of a ghost. You know what I mean? It looks like this is the ghost of the drone. But I can't go anywhere or do anything. To interact with anybody. No, I, I thought I was maybe making that star glitch pop up. But no. That's just happening over time. That's interesting. No, nope, nope, I see it here now too. Curious. Okay, so maybe that's just something that we have now. Battle! Now it's possible you could use the alarm bot on this broken bot here and then destroy something else on the other side of the field. That would be maybe the only thing I can see that being used for. The the alarm bot, that is. Anyway, go for it there. Uh, empty Wessel will deal with the 49er at the moment. Awesome. I will drop. Let's put out... What, our energy bot? I mean, the swap bot's still not coming out for a hot second, so we are mostly okay. We can put the exploding bot out in front of the swap bot as soon as we get the chance because, as you well know, the swap bot only has five health, but the exploding bot deals 10 damage. More than enough to destroy it. So let's go ahead and put out you here. Thank you very much. You'll deal one damage for now. Uh, I did, well, I could do this. And then, ding, fries are done. Cool. Hmm. I'm gonna put the sentry drone right here so that as soon as the 49er comes back, it will be immediately destroyed. Or the automaton moves forward, whichever one goes, happens first. Uh, and then I will put sniper bot here in front of the broken bot and we'll just never attack it. 
right? That seems like the thing to do. 149 are down. Yes! Yes! Whoa. The name's Casey Barry, and I'll be taking that scalp of yours. Nothing personal, kid. Hmm. So this is one of the bounty hunters that we were informed about. Uh, he does raise the attack of the person that's opposite him, so that's nice. We'll go ahead and put Shieldbot out there for fun. And... Yeah, we're good. Bam! Suck up! Casey Barry's gonna give me two damage on that shield bot now. And I have more than enough to destroy. No! No! I will never be happy until you are ashamed of everything you have accomplished. You silly robot. Boom! Think you can bring that shit into my house. Please. You are playing with a true gamer. Ouch. Uh, that was, okay. Um, I get it. That was not a great move. That was not a real true gamer move. But how about that one? Yeah, Casey Barry. I'll be taking that scalp another day. Y'all ain't seen the last of Casey Barry. Suck it, Junior. And ding. Let's finish this. Big. Cool. With an extra four dollars in the bank, too. Ha -cha 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 -cha. All right. Uh, I can't go up. I can go down, though. I uh, can't go either of those directions. Surprising. You would think I would be able to go down there, but. Mainle. Uh, a couple of robots stashed around. Huh. Curious. It's kind of like we just made a big old loop there that didn't actually have anything in it. Nothing down here. Nothing down here. Maybe it just avoided the battle? You know? Ooh, gift bot lets me draw a random card. But leap bot... We, I mean, he hasn't really played anything airborne as of yet, so I think we're good. <clears throat> I think we're good. And we got another highway battle, which means we're down to three lanes once more. The alarm bot that has been overjuiced with three damage. Oof. That's not great. All right, empty whistle. Go. Cool, we can absorb that. That's fine. Uh, empty whistle, go. <laughs> and yeah, we're good. Explodobot's gonna deal one damage to me, but guess what? That Explodobot's gonna get met by our own Explodobot! Ha 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 ha! And all the bombs have died. Cool. Oh! Oh, I didn't realize you could destroy the bridge rails like that. That's entertaining. Uh, I've only got four energy out at the mom. So I think we're good. Let's go sniper on his double guns. Unfortunately, that sniper is not going to last very long. Chinga Changa. Uh, how about a gift box? Wait, what? Oh, whatever. Dies! Fart nuggets. Oh, well. Yeah, we're good. And sniper, no sniping. I mean, sniper, yes sniping. Let's go. Yeah, I kind of want to draw you. Let's take out the empty vessel. We can put out our double gunner with sentry. I think. And he's now a 3-1 creature. Yeah, that three damage sucks. But he's okay. Uh, 49er is going to be able to kill him without too much aplomb. 
And, oh no, no, that sucks. The double gunner is gonna get taken out as well. But not before it can hit again, so let's do this. Chimmy, Changa, Chimmy, Changa. Hey, that puts us back up on the menu, baby. And it's immediately a 4-1. Which means that uh, I'll be able to kill it this turn too. Ha 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 Best gamer of all time. Son. Ouch. <laughs> okay, uh, we got an energy bot here that will give me back one energy. I wonder if perishing counts as getting smashed with a hammer. It certainly fucking does. Perfect. Let's play the insecto drone over here, and boom! That's a lot of damage coming your way. Enough for the winner. I am the big old winner. We got another checkpoint, and my items are fully recharged. Uh. Lame. The power is dead on this old thing. If I'll let you get up if you go get a new battery. Nice. We promise not to run away too far. You're allowed in the inspection room only. Just give me the battery from the inspectometer and come back. Uh. Uh. Ooh. Interesting. Print progress. Almost complete on this one, which is uh, some kind of devil computer card with the alarm and a sniper. And it's a 1-1. One, one. That wouldn't be bad to get, when it, whatever that is. Neat. Those gotta stay. Mrs. Bombs Remote, sure, take it. Drop bombs on every empty space. Tactical, board wipe, don't be stupid about it. Neat. Okay, that's the uh, database there. And here's our second one of these. It's a bunch of moxes. Huh. Uh... Nope. <laughs> well. Yeah, it's your uh, Yu-Gi-Oh's Mystic Black Hole type deal. Definitely done those before. Weird. I don't think it helps that I have no clue what that sigil is. Bifurcated strike. Try amorphous, brittle, green mox, orange mox. Okay. Attack conduit, null conduit, detonator. Overclocked. But if a car brain perishes, it is permanently removed from your deck. Oof. That is good to know. Fuck. When a car brands its owner chooses a creature to gain the detonator spell. Jeez. Select a file. Place damage on the scales according to the file size. What? These are insane. When a car bearing the sigil perishes, the file used to create it is really deleted from your hard drive? Uh-oh. <laughs> At the beginning of the turn is transformed into beast mode. Sentry gem detonator. When gem vessels on the owner's side of the board die, they detonate. The creature opposing them as well as adjacent friendly creatures are all dealt 10 damage. Okay, so we actually probably don't want any of those on our side of the board. Right? Because they just deal so much damage. Unless... Uh, 
God, these puzzles are always so annoying to me. Frankly, if anybody just wants to look up the solution, I'll take that at this point. I'm not too particular. This is not a puzzle that I pride myself on being able to do. Nor am I prideful enough to say that uh, I have to figure it out. I mean, Dan, I do that anyway, but I have no idea what you're referring to in the context of this. Well, fuck. Three is the highest that I can get at the moment. And I can't make these go to the other rails. Same score either way. No. 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 Okay, that's four. That's three. That's still three. Ah, so close. How is that still four? I hate this. I hate it because I don't understand it. Like, I'm sure it's a just fine puzzle. I just don't understand it, nor do I really want to. So, this is just where we're at. Maybe the enemy team should be empty mocks and explode three. What, like that? Okay, fine, I'll do it. Uh... It's funny, it's like, how do you... How do you look up specifically what you want? Okay, I got it. Moving blocks, that's what I want. Okay. Is that the solution? No, that's not the solution. I guess that is the solution. Never you mind. Cool. Uh, so it's orange mocks here by opposing orange mocks. Explody guys over here, the three stays on the back line. This explody guy here, orange mocks here. And then the, uh, these two here. There's your five damage. Lonely Wizbot. Ah, is it? Who are. Is this. Stimulation. Something other than darkness? Many thanks. Do with me what you will. Oh, I'm just a little worm. You can step on me. Cool. So we got ourselves a lonely whizbot. Oh. Oh, I left those things turned off. That's fine. Just solve some easy puzzles. 
rotate until the sigil is upright. Okay. Done. Nope. That way. Nice. Uh, select all squares that contain card. Oh, it's a captcha. Nice. Uh, that contain cards. Da 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 da. What? Nice. Cards. What are the other pictures? He wonders out loud, but also quietly to himself, but also definitely out loud. And what's in the box? <gasps> the fisherman found me. Good. Robot fish hide me. Revenge for last time. Bad fish. Uh, I assume that's like a fern. Whoa. Who are you? Whoa. What the? What the what? What the what? Are you kind of like the globe, just something to interact with? What the fuck are we doing? Yes, that's it. Bring it over here. Fresh battery. Insert it right into my anal port. Aha, aha, ha. Yes. Cool. Yep. Thanks. Sweet. He's charged back up his iPad. That should do it. Back to the game. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I think this is where we're going to take our first break right here. Uh, holy cow. I just can't believe how, how deep this game is getting. I love this so much, and I hope we got at least another hour and a half or so. We might be getting close to the end of this bloody thing. I don't know. It, is Act 3 the end? Is this a three-act story structure? Is there a whole lot more? I... I don't really care. I'm along for the ride, so we'll find out. So for those of you who are watching this on YouTube, we'll see you back here tomorrow for the next episode. For those who are watching here live, thank you so much for joining us, and we'll see you back here in just a couple of minutes. You're watching this on twitch.tv slash timleftwitch or youtube.com slash timleftwitch. If you like the show, let me know right there over on social media, and we'll see you back here in a little bit. Bye.